In the previous episode, you saw me do a lot of work, some of the finish work on panel number one on the left-hand side, which you see behind me. This week, we're going to be doing some final finish on the angel, his gown, outlines of the angel and the trees and other things, as well as some highlights in the sky, including stars and such. After that, we'll be going to the other side and working on the far right panel and starting the process all over again. I hope you enjoy this show.
I was first contacted by Pastor Christine Broughton Lee about this project a couple of years ago. As you know, we did the centerpiece of this mural in 2019 and this year, 2020, we're adding the two side panels. When she started telling me her personal story, I realized it was integral to the genesis of the whole project. Her experiences growing up in Africa left a pretty profound impact on her and she's going to tell us a little bit about how that has informed the content and the style of this project as it's happened. Mark Dallin, artist in residence at Northfield Retirement Community Chapel, has asked me to tell you about the inspiration for this Ethiopian Coptic style triptych of the nativity. This requires some spelunking into memory, which I confess becomes less precise over time. So please don't quote me on anything I tell you here. I remember receiving as a gift, once upon a time, a small triptych hand painted in this same style on a rough hewn, dark stained piece of wood. That gift was given to me in the 1980s. I do recall that the one who gave it to me purchased it at a Mennonite-sponsored store in the Twin Cities. The name, the Jubilee Shop, comes to mind. And did it then become 10,000 Villages later on? I think so. It was, anyway, a purveyor of fair trade products from all over the world. The items from Haiti and various places in Africa always attracted me, possibly because I was born and raised in Madagascar, an island off the southeast coast of Africa. The tiny triptych had in its center panel, the Holy Family, Mary, Joseph, and the baby Jesus, painted in bright colors. The two side panels of the painting, which folded over the center panel, also had a colorful design painted on them. I love this little gift. It cheered me. So I made a point of keeping track of it in the many moves my husband and I made in Iowa and Minnesota with our three sons. I would display it where I could see it all year long. But sometime around the year 2005, it disappeared. Was it lost? Was it stolen? Not sure, really, but it had strayed far from my possessing. In the 1990s, I did my seminary internship in a congregation in downtown St. Paul, Minnesota, not far from the state capitol. In one of the hallways of this church hung large archival photographs of a celebrated visitor to Christ Lutheran Church on Capitol Hill. Ethiopian Emperor Haile Selassie I, emperor from 1930 to 1974, and his distinguished entourage had been guests of this congregation. As I understand to this day, they still use the processional cross given to them as a gift by the emperor. And it is from two members of this congregation, an Eritrean and an Ethiopian, that I learned a few things about the art, the painting of Ethiopia. During the year of my pastoral internship in that church, the set of our Christmas program was inspired in part by this Coptic style art 
along with medieval European iconography of the Jesse tree. When I look now on the center panel of Mark Dallin's triptych, I also see other art influences that have nurtured me in the Christian faith. Greek Orthodox icons and mosaics, for example, and Haitian folk art that I encountered on a mission trip to Haiti in 1991 when I accompanied members of an Episcopal church in St. Paul, Minnesota, to Port-au-Prince, Haiti. There is more to tell about this triptych, of course, more to tell about what inspired me to pull Mark Dallin aside when he was visiting his mother at Northfield Retirement Community a few years ago. Pull him aside and ask him if he would consider being an artist in residence, making the triptych in situ for the Northfield Retirement Community Chapel and residence. More to tell about realizing a dream I had of commissioning a local artist to share while in their midst his process of making art. More to tell about watching Mark paint in front of residents, staff, and family. How it brought comfort and a quiet joy to so many. Joy and peace to us in a season and in a year when we said final goodbyes to many beloved residents and friends. More to tell about the NRC friends and family who would stop and sit in the chapel to rest or watch and pray in front of this colorful painting of the Holy Family throughout the seasons of Christmas 2019 and Epiphany 2020. More to tell now, too, in November of 2020, during the season of the Harvest of Souls. And soon, very soon, well into and past December of 2020, Yes, I'd like to tell you more, God willing, all the way through January of 2021. Tell you more, too, about a resident, a gentleman who sat with Care Center staff in December of 2019 and watched Mark paint the elderly shepherd of the sheep. This old shepherd, this elderly gentleman, a resident of NRC, came as he had faithfully done his whole life, came to honor, came to adore the infant savior of this world.
Thanks for joining us this week. As you can see, we've gotten a really good start on the third panel. Next week is the finale, so we hope you join us for that, in which we'll finish up all the details as well as gold leaf. Uh, my special thanks to the Northfield Retirement Community and especially to Pastor Christine for being the genesis of this whole project. We'll see you next week. <music>